All right. Hello. Happy uh, Monday, everybody. Welcome. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. Thanks for being here for our general knowledge trivia. We're going to get this kicked off here in just a minute. But before we do, make sure that you've joined our online game system. Very simple to do. Just open up any internet browser. Go to online.bagoftricks.com. Put in the code TRICKS, T-R-I-C-K-S, as you see at the bottom of your screen. Once you've got that in, you'll see this login box asking for just a couple of pieces of information first and foremost is the name that you want to go by in this competition second and third is the city and the state that you're playing from tonight last but not least if you do have one is your bag of tricks loyalty program number uh if you do have one go ahead and type it in if you don't i just saw somebody did sign up and you can do that as well for free if you have not yet by clicking on the box uh the link in the description box down below there is a sign up sheet get yourself a loyalty program number so you can earn taco bucks either way <laughs> once you're done go ahead and click on go you'll see this screen this is the game will begin shortly and that means you're all set for now so with that said Oh, I have the wrong thing. Hang on, everybody. Here's a. Uh, oh my gosh. I know. Have I done this before oh, or first what? Night. Amateur. Here's Taco. Uh, let me. Chilling with his banana. It looks like he pooped it out. <laughs> I gotta change this thing to this thing. Sorry, everybody. I click on this button. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right. Welcome once again. Uh, we're going to get this started here in just a second. Before we do, thank you to everybody that joined us for our Parks and Recreation Trivia uh, tonight at 7 p.m. with the Fountainville Public Library. That was a lot of fun. I'm glad to see some of you back here for tonight's General Knowledge Trivia. We will also have General Knowledge Trivia on Wednesday and on Friday at 9 p.m. So lots of fun stuff coming up this week. We'll also have uh, Watch Out in the Community. I'll be posting. We're going to do a test game of a new game. Some of you have already done this with us, but we'll do it with a larger audience coming up sometime this week. So keep an eye peeled for that. And last but not least, I don't know where I was going. Oh, thank you to everybody that's been uh, joining us for in-person trivia. Obviously, we are slowly getting up and rock and rolling as uh, some of the venues and bars and restaurants that we've been in previously are opening back up. Uh, like all of the Pollyanna breweries, all uh, uh, McWethy's in Bolingbrook, the delicious restaurant. We're at Two Pints, also oh, in Bolingbrook. I know, me too. Um, we're, we're starting this week at Mad Hatchet Brewery. That's in Shorewood. If anybody's out that way, uh, far west suburbs there near Plainfield. We are also in Miskatonic Brewing now in Darien as well. Uh, we'll be starting up. I know there's a lot of people out here in the Lamont area. We're actually in June going to be doing trivia at the Forge, um, the new quarries, uh, high ropes course and all that fun stuff. They're going to do trivia every other week as well. So lots of stuff coming up in person but we have no plans to stop our online trivia as well so thank you all for being here and thank you so much to those of you that donate that's the reason that we can continue to do this online um, we will continue to do these online trivia events as long as it makes sense for us to do it uh, these platforms that we use to host aren't free so when you guys donate you tip whatever you want to call it via the links down below venmo paypal um, quick pay whenever you guys send those donations they really help us continue to put on these events for as long as possible. So thank you to those of you that have donated in the past or anybody that donates tonight. Uh, we really, really appreciate it. With that said, we are going to dive into trivia. So tonight's game is general knowledge trivia, as you've come to know and love. Questions about anything and everything. Some of these will be simple. Some of these will be tough. All sorts of categories tonight. History, music, arts, sports, uh, science, all sorts of fun stuff. I'll be doing one question at a time. You'll answer it. We'll see the answer. 
We'll go over the standings throughout the game, and then we'll award some taco bucks at the end. Once you have plenty of taco bucks in your loyalty program account, you can reward, you can redeem those rewards for real life prizes, like you see on this sheet here. Uh, the Baker Tricks T-shirts, Lagunitas playing cards. We have a bunch of vinyl pop. We have the mugs. I am Groot and the Zelda Shield mug. Uh, the framed and autographed photo of Taco Series Number Two. Lights, camera, banana is still out there. Hey, thanks, Crystal, for the donation. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, so do check that out. If you don't have a loyalty program number yet, make sure you sign up. Uh, heads up, in August, we're going to, hopefully, I think we're still planning for August, uh, for our big oh, Begatrix yeah. community get-together um, somewhere here in the, the western suburbs. So I know our Florida friends, I'll give you a date so you can take that time off uh, and bake plenty of delicious cookie catastrophe cookies. Uh, we'll set up a little booth where we can just all enjoy those. <laughs> I cannot wait. Uh, so with all of that said, we're going to get into some trivia. Tonight's game, as I said, is general knowledge, questions about anything and everything. First question is coming up on the screen. This first round is multiple choice. So every question is going to look like this. First question is at the top of your screen. What is the name of your host today? The only thing you don't see yet is the answer options because I haven't started your timer. Once I start the timer... You have 25 seconds to choose either A, B, C, or D. One of those answers will be correct. One of them will be wrong, and two more will be wrong. I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, three will be wrong. One will be correct. All you have to do is click the correct answer as quickly as you can. Earn as many points as possible, and then we'll move on to the next question. So with all of that said, oh, wow, people are out here. What's up, Abigail? Long time no see. Phoebe, welcome back. Yes, the group mug. That one's got your name on it. Middleton Lens, hey, hey, yeah, thanks again. Uh, thank you, Laura, for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Christiane, hey, Brad. I see Sarah, Amy, welcome back. Hey, Steph, John J, Danny G, what's up? Jess, welcome back. Chris B, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hey, Sarah V. Uh, yeah, Sarah V, hopefully, maybe we'll see you at Mad Hatchet with Pete for one of these uh, trivia or music bingo nights coming up here in the future. All right, here we go. Question number one. This is our practice question. It's not worth any points, guys, so no worries. What is the name of your host today? Is my name Kyle, Kenny, Stan, or Ali? This is a practice question. We're just going to see how the system works. Let's see. What is the name of your host today? Kyle, Kenny, Stan, or Ali? We have Taco here sleeping on his bed. We have Pierre here sleeping. Choosing. Yeah, he... he likes it in the crate he likes sleeping in there tiny little crate pad versus giant orthopedic like foam bed that has more than enough space for both dogs and me yeah gina gina has laid on it often i've slept on it with pierre the first night we had him or, you know, oh, well remember he was injured poor little boy uh, it's been a Monday to say the least. Yeah, it's been a week of a Monday, Christiane. I feel you. Three people said Kyle. Three people said Stan. Four people said Kenny. Still alive. 19 people said Ali. Great job. Almost a crispy social there. 66% of you correctly said Ali. This one wasn't worth any points, so no worries if you got it wrong. But from this point on, they do start counting. Uh, Ali, are you wearing a Ron Swanson shirt? I am, Matt. Yeah, in honor of the uh, Parks and Rec trivia we did. Give me all Where the bacon and eggs that? you have. Yeah, we're shirt twins tonight. Are you wearing his Pyramid of Greatness? It has been a Monday. Yeah, Phoebe. All right, here we go. Question number two. In 2005... News Corporation bought what popular social networking site for $580 million? You know, chump change. But mismanaged it and sold it in 2011 for an incredible $35 million. Yes, though. What networking site did they buy in 2005 and sell in 2011? Was it MySpace, LiveJournal, AOL Instant Messenger, or Friendster? Just an outline of his face. I like it, Matt. Don't even work Monday, so that says something. Yo, yeah, yeah, Christiane, I feel you. This cat is on eBay. God damn it, I keep it look bidding. Like, yeah. Like, the way it's leaning in, like, ooh, did I get it? Like, there's 20 seconds left, and they just bid, and then it automatically went up again. Son of a bitch. I need that tuna. One person said Friendster. 
28 people said my good friend Tom on MySpace. MySpace, correct answer. Friendster is the only one that I did not have. Neither did I, Chris. Um, I didn't have a live journal, though. I had a Zanga. Do you remember Zanga? Uh, did yeah. you have a Zanga? Um, no, I think I had a live journal for a minute. Yeah, I never had live journal. I had uh, I had AIM. What was your... Here's a fun question. Uh, in the chat, let us know. What was your AIM username? Your screen name? Oh. Mine, I'll type it in here. Uh, my username was... He he L O L B R B. I just thought I was so clever. Oh I thought I was so thought, clever. Age sex location. Yeah. ASL, yeah, 14 female California. You? Oh, Johnny Tsunami, Bohemia 8. Seth and I both had rent. Mumi Chicka 20. Aw. Irish Diva 94. Okay. Cracker K. I love this. CB Grizzle. Oh, incredible. Firefly08. Oh, Flyerfly. Oh, Flyerfly. <laughs> Sorry, Phoebe. Flyerfly0809. Oh, oh, this is incredible. All right, question number... That's a social, by the way. Sorry, everybody. I, I've been too lax on socials. We need to be calling Amazing these out. Dreamer. That's a pretty one, Sarah. <sighs> All right. Question... Gazing Dreamer. Yeah, I do like that. Cool. Question three. Which high action athletic competition game show is shown here in this GIF? What game show are we looking at here in this GIF? Is this American Gladiators, Battle Dome, American Ninja Warrior, or Wipeout? Janessa was loves <laughs> to dance. Oh, loves to dance, not two different dance. <laughs> that is a romance novel. Uh, it's been too long. It's been a while. Stained. Oh. I remember that uh, Aaron Lewis and Fred Durst did a uh, uh, live version of uh, Outside by Stained on MTV, and they played it like, nonstop, and I loved it. That you're was, in a good mood, and you want to be in a bad mood? Yeah, that was 12-year-old me. I loved Stained. I loved Limp Biscuit, Kid Rock. Oh, what a time. To be alive. Late 90s, early 1000s. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, question number three. This is two people said American Ninja Warrior, but this is American Gladiators. This one was on my mind today because if anybody out there is a nostalgia freak like me and you enjoy watching all of these old 90s shows for fun, uh, it was just announced that they will be doing a 30 for 30 on ESPN about American Gladiators. Um, so I'm sure you'll get your nostalgia fill there, or you can just watch American Gladiators on Hulu. So American Gladiators, the correct answer. Question number four. Uh, there should be another quotations here. Sorry. No Fences, Rope in the Wind, and In Pieces are all hit albums by which country music icon? Which country music star released these three albums? Was it Billy Ray Cyrus, Brad Paisley, Dwight Yoakam, or Garth Brooks? It would make sense if Canada didn't have it since it was called oh, America yeah. Online. Yeah, I never considered. But. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody's in. Two people said Billy Ray Cyrus. Three people each said Brad Paisley and Dwight Yoakam. 22 people correctly said Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks. I just got my Garth Brooks uh, Legacy vinyl collection. Yeah, Seven albums. Sure I sure did. All right, question number five. I have a couple times. Not when you're here because I know you don't love Garth Brooks. I know. I try. Question number five. What Italian alcoholic liqueur seems redundant what was i thinking what italian liqueur is red in color and one of the main ingredients of the negroni cocktail what italian liqueur are you using to make a negroni cocktail is it sambuca campari amaretto or galliano uh 
Garth Brooks' aim is Chris Gaines. <laughs> I did write this question for you. I thought you, well, you had it. No, you had Aperol today. But I prefer this one. Yeah, me too. Do you know uh, that the original red color of this was formed by like the husks of beetles? I do only because you told me. Yeah, but now, see, and this is where I ride the line of like, that's the more natural version. Now it's a synthetic red. And like in the age of all natural, we should be moving back to the beetles. Right, but then vegans can't drink it. Do vegans not eat insects? Oh. <laughs> oh, honey. I don't know. Probably you not, know, right? You get out. Get, get out. Get out. Uh, 87% of you correctly said Campari. Cheers, everybody. I mean, yeah, that's fair. All right. We'll look at the standings for the first time. Here's Taco. Uh, currently in first place, Danny. In second, your mom. Ha, 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 ha. LOL. BRB. Uh, third, Proctor. I hardly know her. In fourth, currently, the Spicy Meatballs. In fifth, Rickster. Sixth is Caster Troy. Seventh, Steffi Star. Eighth, Pack and Hammered. Ninth, Eat Lightning Crap Thunder. Tenth is tied between Requiem for a Tuesday, Just the Crows and the Beef, and the Angelica's Artie and Winnie. Thirteenth is Mia and Snowball. In fourteenth, Sorella Sand. Fifteenth is Charles. Sixteenth, Hesera. Seventeenth, Hail to the Victors. Eighteenth, uh, the service dog, I believe. 19th, no longer cuddling. Uh-oh, what happened? Tied with Mert Whirlin. 21st, it's a cookie catastrophe. 22nd, hit me with your best shot of Moderna. Love it. 23rd, the cookie catastrophe. 24th, troublesome goddess. 25th, batty. 26th, mama lands. 27th is JMO. 28th, a whole numero uno. 29th, Learn Fernigan. 30th is boo. And 31st, just Jess. Uh, Ooh, oh, Chris, sorry. Oof. What did Chris? Oh, oh, God. Sorry, bud. I do not have to do that tomorrow. Uh, okay, here we go. Question number... Taco, look at you. With your banana. Question number six. Easter Island. Easter Island is a part of what South American country easter island is a part of what south american country is it brazil uruguay argentina or chile you imagine like they're moving that moai like huh, huh, huh. you imagine if they let it fall over i know yeah, <laughs> like, yeah how much work it is to get it standing up but i mean it looks like it could topple at any second yeah it's a lot of coordination. But they moved it how many thousands of miles? Ugh. Same thing with the rocks at Stonehenge. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Too much work. Yeah. <laughs> Three people said Brazil. Two people said Argentina. Four people said Uruguay. 21 people correctly said Chile. Great job. Poor pickles. Oh, no. <laughs> Great job, everybody that put D. Question number seven. What Ivy League school would you find in this U.S. state? It's a double level question. You have to figure out what state we're looking at and then figure out which of these schools are in that state. What Ivy League school is in the state that I have in the picture here? Is it Cornell, Harvard, Yale, or Princeton? Ugh. For me personally. <laughs> Purely guessing here. Oh, Sarah was born at their hospital. Nice. Aww. Eight people said Cornell. Andy Bernard would be happy. Four people said Harvard. Two people said Princeton. 17 people said Yale. Congratulations. We are looking at the outline of Connecticut. And this is Yale, Connecticut in New Haven, uh, Connecticut. Yale in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, good job, everybody that put C. You got points. Over half of you did. I like this question because it was two levels and two layers to discover. So great job. We'll see more like these coming soon. Question number eight. Uh, Christiane, yeah, the picture round tonight. We'll see how you do. I wasn't sure if you'd be here. It's a U.S. 
uh, themed picture round. And, but it does have to do with the states. And I know you know a lot about the states. Question number eight. What is Guns N' Roses lead singer Axl Rose's birth name? Obviously, it goes by Axl Rose. But what is Axl Rose's real name? Is it William Bailey, Brian Patrick Carroll, Saul Hudson, or Miles Kennedy? What is it? Not anagram. Is that what you... Axel? Acronym. Acronym. What is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Gina just informed me uh, off microphone, but I'm going to share it. That Axl Rose's name was a anagram. It is an anagram. Um, okay. For oral sex. And I never knew. Today I learned. T-I-L. Today I learned uh, that he goes by Axl Rose. And when you rearrange the letters of Axl Rose, you get oral sex. Which would be, that would make sense why he left out an extra E there and the Axl too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is incredible. Guys, this is trivia that I'm asking, but I'm learning. This is great. What a great really night. Eight people said William Bailey. Four people said Saul Hudson. Six people said Miles Kennedy. Thirteen people went with the one that I added three names for just because I thought more people would guess that. Uh, and it's not correct. The correct answer is William Bailey. William Bailey. Saul Hudson is Slash. Uh, Brian Normal Patrick names. Brian Patrick Carroll is a musician. Uh, it is this individual. You might have heard of him. Buckethead. Oh, yeah. Buckethead. Yeah, that's Brian Patrick Carroll. Uh, so, yeah, it is an individual, but uh, not an Axel individual. Rose, not oral sex. All right. <laughs> Question number nine. In what 1996 basketball film did Charles Barkley appear as himself in the film as Charles Barkley? Was it Coach Carter, Above the Rim, Space Jam, or White Men Can't Jump? That's why you show Saul. Yeah, yeah, Saul is in Guns N' Roses, but not Axl Rose. Do you remember White Men Can't Jump? Uh, foods that begin with Q, Alex. I don't think I've ever seen it. Yeah, it was, uh, what's her name? She has that iconic voice. Uh, Rosie Perez. Yes, Rosie Perez. And she was... Uh, uh, she was Woody Harrelson's girlfriend or wife uh, in the film. Yeah. And she's like, I've been studying to get on Jeopardy. Uh, I'm studying foods that begin with the letter Q. Yeah. And then she gets on and literally the category was foods that begin with the letter Q. And because of that, I've done trivia categories that were foods that begin with the letter Q, which is more fun than yeah, you think. Oh, yeah. You got quail, Quiznos, queso, quark. Quince. Quince, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, the correct answer here, though, is not White Men Can't Jump, although it is a fun movie. Space Jam is the correct one. Welcome to the Space Jam. Yeah, Rosie Perez. Uh, Space Jam is the correct answer, though. It's not White Men Can't Jump. Space Jam 2 comes out soon. Looking interesting on HBO Max. Question number 10. Hank Hill and Tom Anderson are very similar characters from different cartoons, but both of these cartoons were produced and created by which of these individuals who created Hank Hill and his family? Was it Matt Groening? Was it Seth MacFarlane? Was it Mike Judge or Trey Parker? Me too. Quiche? Yeah, quinoa. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. I have the whole category. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, anything else. Let's see. Uh, Wager rounds. Okay. Right, all right, all right. Everybody's in. Yes. Uh, Tom Anderson was one of Beavis and Butthead's neighbors. 
uh, who could certainly be the inspiration for Hank Hill. Uh, yes, Mike Judge. Mike Judge is the correct answer. Between Space Jam and King of the Hill, I'm covering 90% of the memes. <laughs> oh, I'm very proud of that. All right. Uh, boy, right. Uh, everybody's in. Let's take a look at the standings, and let's take a look at Taco. Oh, <laughs> look at Taco. I know. He is fast. Oh, God. Uh, currently in first is still Danny. Congratulations. Caster Troy in second. And your ma, <laughs> LOL, in third. Uh, everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. We'll get into the next round here in just a second. We're still doing multiple choice. Ah, here we go. Foods that start with the letter Q. What did I use? Qdoba, quail, quark, quesadilla, queso, quiche, quince, Quinine, quinine, which is in uh, tonic water, yes. quinoa, and Quiznos. That was a fun round. Mm -hmm. That was a fun round. Quick oats. <laughs> Quick oats. That's a good one I didn't have in there. All right, all right, all right. Everybody, let's move on to the final set of multiple choice questions. Here we go. Question 11. How many seasons did American Idol air for on Fox before taking a two-year hiatus and returning on ABC with all new judges in 2018? How many seasons did American Idol air on Fox? Was it 12, 13, 14, or 15? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, I could go for some Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> uh, everybody's in. Five people said 12. Four people said 13. 13 people said 14. Nine people said 15. Ooh, that's fun to read. Correct was, answer. Bleh. It was on Fox for 15 seasons. 15 seasons. And then moved over to ABC with uh, Harry Connick and uh, company. Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, uh, 15 seasons on Fox. All right, question 12. Keanu Reeves did most of his own driving in a 1969 Ford Mustang while appearing in what action film and its sequels? Iconic 1969 Ford Mustang with Keanu Reeves was in which of these films? Was it John Wick, The Matrix, Constantine, or Point Break? I heard they might be doing a Constantine Netflix series. Oh, really? Was it Netflix? Let's see. Constantine series in works. HBO Max, even better. Yeah, the Constantine film with Keanu was great. And Gavin Rossdale. <laughs> and Gavin Rossdale, you're right. Hey, thanks, Jess, for the donation. Thank you. I don't know if I said that already, but thank you. Uh, all right, everybody's in. This is one of my favorite films and series, uh, as Gina knows very well. The correct answer is John Wick, Baba Yaga. John Wick, the correct answer. Mainly watched Constantine because of Gavin. Fair enough. Can't argue with that. Question 13. Of these classic comic strips, which one debuted first? I'm going to list four. Which of these comic strips debuted first? We're talking... Newspaper comic strips, not comic books. Was it Peanuts, Dennis the Menace, The Family Circus, or The Born Loser? Look at this dog. Oh, yeah. I didn't read the paper. Paper's as big as him. Okay. For all the something corporate fans out there, seeing two people type Constantine, my uh, first thought was... With a K? Yeah. With uh, a K. No, you spelled it correctly. Confusion with a K. Mm -hmm. But Constantine's also. Oh, I know. All right, everybody's in. Uh, 14 people said Dennis the Menace. Eight people said Family Circus. Uh, seven people said 
peanuts. Ooh, it was close. Uh, the correct answer here is Charlie Brown peanuts. Uh, 1947, I think. Dennis the Menace was 1951. Family Circus was a little bit later. Uh, the Born Loser was 1965. So even later. Yeah, yeah. Peanuts, the correct answer. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Question 14. In 2020, Tom Brady joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, not that they would go on to do anything big. After playing how many seasons for the New England Patriots? Hmm. How many seasons did Tom Brady play with the New England Patriots before leaving uh, and going to the Bucks? Was it 14, 16, 18, or 20? Christiane, there there was a Constantine series. Um, you're right. There was on, but I think it was on cable. Um, doesn't say where it, yeah, it, it didn't, I don't think it lasted long. Yeah, one season, uh, the original Constantine series. Is Tom dancing in this gift? That's for you to decide, Chris. He's doing something. He's moving. But is it dancing? He's married to Giselle. Who am I to talk? Two people said 14. Eight people said 16. Six people said 18. 13 people said 20. Correct answer is 20 seasons. Jesus Christ. I haven't done anything for 20 years. 20 seasons. You lived. Barely. Oh, shut up. <laughs> With the New England Patriots. Uh, great job. Question number 15. In 1994, and then... Again, in 2004, what famous painting was stolen? First from the National Gallery and then from the Monk Museum, both in Oslo. What same painting was stolen not once but twice in 10 years? Was it Portrait of a Lady, the Mona Lisa, a Puppy Flowers, or the Scream? He looks deflated. Jess, underrated joke there. I'm here for it. He looks deflated. Those dogs. I wish I was them. You can be. Yeah. All right, everybody's in. Yes, Edward Munch, the scream is the correct answer. It's all about sports that can muster. Just read about this step that comes in handy. Yeah, Sarah, I started that documentary and then I, I didn't oh. continue because I couldn't. I, I watched TV while I work and I really wanted to pay attention to I that one. Watch it with you. I'll watch it with you. I literally only got like 10 minutes in. Uh, the correct answer here was the scream. All right, one more multiple choice question. Number 16 Africa is home to three of the seven species of big cats. Which of the following big cats is not native to Africa? Which of the following big cats is not native to Africa? Is it leopards, cheetahs, tigers, or lions? Oh, my. Do you like that, Joe? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. What a sleepy point. I guess we could probably get both of them. Look at that. Both sleepy dogs. I made a camera thing for both of them. <laughs> but it's just the same camera. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> hey, why not? Yeah, right. Uh, actually, bad, coming from somewhere in Asia, the correct answer is tigers. Tigers. Thanks, Phoebe. Toto? No, that's a dog. Uh, yeah. T did you know Toto was like the highest paid actor in the Wizard of Oz cast? What? Yeah. There was some... Um... Hold on. Well, I'll show you guys the rankings while I pull this up. 
Uh, here we go. Six people said let. Oh, we already did this. Here's the rankings. Currently in first is Danny. Second, the Angelica's Artie and Winnie. Third, Proctor. I hardly know her. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. Okay, that was an urban legend. Toto did not make more than Judy Garland. Okay. But Judy Garland was paid less than all of the men. Duh. Yeah, duh. Um, I guess it's changed. She only made five hundred dollars a week. The Scarecrow, the Tin Man were each making three thousand. The Cowardly Lion was making twenty five hundred. Okay. Don't don't make me angry right now. Yeah, Toto the dog made about half of what Judy Garland did. Is the lead actress, the dog. And that was almost a hundred years ago. <laughs> and very little has changed. No. Oh my god. I hate it. Yeah, well. <sighs> okay. Uh, we're gonna switch things up for the next round, so give me one second. I wanna change this all up. Oh yeah, really bad stuff happened with it wasn't even just that film. It got worse and worse, Abby. Abigail. Uh, yeah, you're right. The eating disorder, smoking all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good point. It was bad. It Very was bad. Good point. In the credits, it says Toto Perfect. was played by Toto. Yeah. Oh, I love Toto, it. a hell of an agent. <laughs> you got Pierre in my taco cube. I'm not supposed to get puzzles in my eye. All right, uh, let's move on. Next. Oh, oh hi, buddy. Uh, next round. This is a picture round. I'm going to be showing you a picture, and I'm going to ask you to identify something from it. We've done this round before, but never these specific questions. Uh, again, Christiane, our Canadian friends out there, this might be a little bit tougher, but I know, Christiane, you're on top of your states, so we'll see how you do with this. But everyone out there has the same opportunity to answer correctly because these will not be multiple choice options. I'll be starting the timer, and when the timer starts, you'll have 25 seconds to type in the answer. You'll have a 1 in 50 shot for each of these because I'm going to show you the backside <laughs> of a state quarter. The backside of a state quarter. So I've covered up the state name, but I need you to tell me which of the United States this is the official state quarter from. Do you remember when state quarter started being a thing? And I mean, maybe, I don't know about you, but everybody around me was in a frenzy to get, like, the collectible thing where you could put a quarter in each slot. Yes. And I thought that, like, once you got all of them, it would unlock some secret gold coin or something. No, nothing happened. And now, <laughs> now you can get as many as you want. All right, here we go. What state is this the state quarter for? What state is this the state quarter for? It's kind of a tough round. Give it your Ooh, best shot. I know this one. What do you think? Oh, shoot. The second one you said has a very similar one, and I almost did both, but I didn't. Then you just had them available to do laundry in a few years. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Middleton Lens, I have not heard of the curse of the state quarters, but I would like to. This is the state quarter. Uh, one second. Oh, yeah. No. This is a state quarter for Kansas. Kansas. Wyoming is a bucking bronco. Wyoming is a bucking bronco. I even double check there. Um, let me double check this, too. Yeah, no, this is Kansas. Yeah. All right. Question 18. Name this U.S. state quarter. What state is this? You're getting the state outline. You're getting a couple of clues here. Oh, buck. There was a rumor that if you go oh, from who? <laughs> yeah, who was going to give you $500? <laughs> All right, everybody's in. The big, oh no, mistake by the lake. Ohio is the correct answer here. Uh, the birthplace of aviation pioneers. I like how they qualify that, yeah. um, you know, because it's not really the birthplace of aviation. Uh, but most astronauts were born in Ohio. Uh, famous pilots born in Ohio. Yeah. 
Uh, something in the water, I guess. Question 19. Name this U.S. state quarter. This one's a little easier, I think. I think. Big old clue on here. Bucking up this round so far. far. I like that, Brad. Quadricentennial. 400 years in 2007. That's wild. I'm not even 400 years old. Not even you. 400. Uh, correct answer. Most of you got this. 87% enough for a social in my book. Virginia! The correct answer. Jamestown. Ah, good job. Question 20. Name this U.S. state quarter. What state is this from? All right, everybody's in. Uh, depicted on this is the golden stake, which was the stake that connected the two ends of the Transcontinental Railroad, what would become the Transcontinental Railroad. So we connected the East Coast and the West Coast, and that happened in Utah. So it seems like the East Coast end did a lot more work, but I think there was a lot of uh, mountains and stuff on the West Coast end, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, Utah, the correct answer here. The golden stake. All right, one more. Uh, good job. I didn't say there's 11 of you got it. Final one. Name this U.S. state by its quarter. Got Helen Keller. Some Braille. Spirit of Courage. Some magnolias on there. I had to Google that to make sure. Uh, the correct answer is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I didn't see this one coming. Get that out of here. The correct answer is <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. Helen Keller, Spirit of Courage, the Magnolia. Alabama. Uh, I would get more points if my fingers would start hitting the wrong keys. Uh, Brad, if you spelled it wrong, I'll give you points, bud. Don't worry. Let me double check. Alabama, the correct answer here. All right, we're done with this picture round. Some of you enjoyed it. Some of you are a little tougher, but that's okay. That's what the picture round supposed to be. It's supposed to challenge you. We have another fun picture round coming up this Wednesday. I already have it done, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, currently still in first, Danny rocking and rolling. Second, the Angelica's already and Winnie. Hasera is up into third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you are at. And we will get into the next and final round here in just one a second. All right, here we go. Final round. For this last round, it is similar to the first round in that we have 10 random questions, all different categories. This is not a picture round. These questions may or may not have anything to do with each other. But unlike the first round, you will not have multiple choice options. You're going to have to type your answer in. So get ready to go. You have 25 seconds for each of these questions. We'll do one at a time, starting with this one. Question 22. What is the name of Porky Pig's significant other? What is the name of Porky Pig's significant other? First name, full name, whatever you want. What is the name of the love of Porky Pig's blah, 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 live?
That's all, folks. Remember when we watched Looney Tunes? We should do that again. HBO yeah, Max has, Max. like, every Looney Tunes cartoon ever released from the beginning until now. And uh, that was one of the best mornings I've had. Was that last weekend or two weekends ago? We woke up and just watched, like, Saturday morning cartoons for, like, two hours. Tom and Jerry. That was, fun, that was a lot of fun. Roadrunner. Great stuff. Uh, the correct answer here, Susie Swine. It is Petunia Pig. I just took Petunia as well. Zoomer animation of Porky. Uh, here, let me help you. Petunia is the correct answer. I wonder if we have both of them. Petunia is a cute name. It is, right? Oh, wow. This is like all new. Yeah. <laughs> I wet myself. <laughs> Space Jam. Oh, God, yes. Uh, question 23. Born in 1978, who was the first ever cast member on SNL to be younger than the show itself? Who was the first person to join the cast of SNL who was younger than the show itself? Hmm. Hmm. This is a fun question. Thank you very much. Uh, not talking about guest hosts. We're talking about cast members. Just looking, one second, sorry. <laughs> oh, this guy has been working forever. The correct answer is Keenan Thompson. Keenan Thompson. Uh, he was he's been on it since 2003 this is what i was just googling uh so keenan joined snl in 2003 he left all that in 1999 so he only had four years where he wasn't really on a sketch show in his whole like senses yeah, since 1994 that's insane ah uh, so he was 16 when he joined all that and since then he's basically been on a sketch show his entire life good for him i love keenan all right uh all right uh speaking of sorry side note if you guys haven't if you have hulu watch the orange years that's what we that's what yeah. it's called right we watched it last night it's a documentary especially for people in our age range uh mid to late 30s it is perfect it is a nostalgia trip about the 80s to 90s nickelodeon uh it's, it's all about great. how it happened the shows that came out of it it's people the people that ran it um they, they show you a lot of the fun like things that you've forgotten about on the show uh but it's on hulu it's free to watch if you have hulu it's not too long it's like an hour and a half long it's called the orange years so check that out um question number 24 both set in the cat skills who wrote the classics rip van winkle and the legend of sleepy hollow mm -hmm. not legends uh who wrote rip van winkle and the legend of sleepy hollow oh, there could have been multiple legends Phoebe, what's yes. That? Yeah, that was what's up with that? That's a good what's one. up with that? Oh yeah. Oh shoot, Christiane. You can't get Hulu. I would take um, socialized health care over Hulu. <laughs> I think you would, too. Yeah, jerk a <laughs> I'm not saying that it was bad. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime, oh. too. Um, oh, but you have to rent it, Christiane. Sorry. All right, let's see. It's not Ichabod Crane. It is Washington Irving. 
Well, it's okay. Thanks. Oh, Washington Irving. That's a cheers. That's an 82%. Great job. I like this gift. It looks like a Pusheen gift. It does look like a Pusheen. A little Pusheen headless horseman. Yeah. All right. Question 25 with 14 wins. What country has been awarded the Academy Award for Best International Feature Film the most times? What country has won Academy Award for Best International Feature Film at the Oscars the most times? Take a guess if you're not sure. What do you think? Mm, both good guesses. Is one of them right? Uh, what are they talking about? Uh, what's up with that? Oh, Jason Sudeikis, Fred Armisen, Bill Hader. Do you know what I want to rewatch like right now? Guess. Don't mind you. Ted Lasso. Oh, I will. I was thinking you want to rewatch. Oh, uh, I want to rewatch it like now. Let's, let's watch it start it tonight. Jamie Tart, do 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 Jamie Tart. <laughs> it's so good. All right. Uh, half of you said France. Half of you said Italy. I asked Gina, "What do you think the correct answer is?" And she said, "Either France or Italy." The correct answer is Italy. Italy! Now France has the most nominations. I don't remember the numbers, but France has the most nominations, but Italy has most of one, uh, won the most with 14. France, I believe, has won 12. Close. Yeah, so it's close. But as of now, uh, Italy is the correct answer. Here are the current standees. Danny's still out there in front, but not by much. Less than a one question difference over Sarah and Castor Troy right there in third. Tacos passed out. But he's sending good vibes your way. Pierre has been sleeping basically for eight hours. Also sending good vibes your way. Spirit animal. Yeah. I wish I could sleep as much as Pierre. Oh, stretchy boy. Um, I could sleep as much as Pierre if someone let me. <laughs> I'll let you. You, you could... know that's true. Yeah, that's fair. All right, here we go, my friends. Final set of questions question number 26 appearing on july 6th 1920 and 5 who was the first actor ever to be featured on the cover of time magazine july 6th 1925 who was the first actor movie actor to be on the cover of time magazine because he's so comfortable at your house oh middleton oh um, yes He's changed. He's we always like, say, like, since he, his... yeah, since he joined us, he's lost in a good way, like, five years uh, from his age. Like, when he came, he could barely walk around. Uh, he was literally crying out in pain the first night he was here. Uh, and now he runs around the yard. He plays with Taco. He eats, like, nobody's business, which is good. He was not eating much when we got him. Oh, I said this earlier in Parks and Rec. Wednesday, make sure you're here Wednesday night because it'll be the debut of Pierre with a groom. Oh, yeah. I was saying earlier, I don't think... Yeah, he's probably never had a groom. I, I doubt that he had a groom with his previous owner, just based on what we know about him. Uh, so this might be the first time he's ever being groomed. Um, he's going to get a nice haircut, uh, and he's going to be excited to show y'all so be here with us wednesday night <laughs> correct answer here almost everybody got 80 percent of you enough for a social in my book charlie chaplin first actor on the cover of time magazine great job he's so happy yeah phoebe i can't wait for you to meet him we'll have to bring him into the city one day yeah. maybe we can all go to tapster oh that'd be fun tapster's starting back up in like two weeks if you're in the city, if you're out there, Sarah, you're in the city, right? Uh, Lincoln Park, Tapster uh, is going to be starting trivia on, Phoebe, help me, Tuesday or Wednesdays. I don't remember anymore. We went back and forth. But uh, in-person trivia starting up at Tapster, the pour-your-own delicious beer and cocktail bar. I, I miss Tapster. Me yeah. too. I love going there. Uh, we'll have to bring, because it's dog-friendly too, so we yeah. can bring Pierre uh, for one of Phoebe's trivia nights. Yay. All right, question 27. It's a tough one. Have to look into that. Yeah, heck yeah, Sarah. Sarah. Oh, do it. We'd love to see you there. Tapster and Phoebe are both amazing. 
Amazing. What was the first Confederate state readmitted to the Union after the Civil War? After they gave up, waved their white flag, what was the first state from the Confederation readmitted to the Union after the Civil War? Uh, Tapster has a back patio and one in the front. The front one should offer a perfect view for oh. trivia. Tuesdays at 7.30. Thank you, Phoebe. Like yeah. It used to be. Heck yeah. And I, we don't host anything on Tuesday nights, so we can go. We'll come in. We'll go see Phoebe. We'll bring Pierre. Maybe Taco, too, but that's a lot to bring them both. Definitely Pierre. He's more chill. All right, everybody's in. Did anybody get this right? I don't think so. Now I got to double check. Yeah, no. It, I mean, this doesn't affect you guys. Nobody got it right, which means technically nobody got it wrong. Nobody lost any points. Nobody got any points. The correct answer is Tennessee. Tennessee was the first state readmitted to the Union on July 24th, 1866. Uh, the next state would have been F Arkansas, and then Florida, and then Louisiana. Uh, yeah, Tennessee, the correct answer. Nobody got it, which means also nobody missed it. All right, question 28. What 1980s TV series revolved around mysteries investigated by characters named Maddie Hayes? and David Addison. What TV show are you watching if you are watching Maddie Hayes and David Addison? For some reason, I feel like your mom would have liked this show. I wonder I if Mia and Snowball are still out there. Oh, they are, but they're sleeping. They're not helping very much. <laughs> Mia would know. This seems like a show Mia would like. <laughs> Look at Amy Griffin's comments. I love it. I have to spit up a drink because we all got it wrong? Oh, My no. Like I should just have to take three extra drinks. What? My mom did like this She show. did? Yeah. Good. I figured. Uh, the correct answer here, we had Bruce Willis before his Die Hard days. This is Moonlighting. That was Sybil Shepherd, right? Mm -hmm. Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. Maddie Hayes and David Addison. Moonlighting. Solving those mysteries. Good job. Ha exactly half of you got that right. I say Ollie buys us all around. Yeah, I will buy all of you around of whatever you have in your house. Pour yourself. That shot's on me. Uh, you know, put it on my tab. All right, question 29. This is a tough one. What was the only film from Alfred Hitchcock to win the Oscar for Best Picture? He never won the Oscar for Best Director, but one of his films won the Oscar for Best Picture. What was it? Pour one out. <laughs> pouring out from my homies. Oh. Ali never pours out liquor. I do not pour out liquor. I will pour no, it out into my mouth. Ali buys us all around. Brad, I, you know what? When we can all hang out, that's fair. We'll buy yeah. you all around. Uh, Brad, once we're all vaccinated and we can all go out and hang out, uh, I would love to meet you guys up at Open Bottle in Lockport. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think we've talked about it. Uh, we could definitely meet up there for some drinks, and I'll, I'll buy you guys a beer. Something delicious. They always have good stuff there. All right, everybody's in. This looks like you were trying to type the right thing, so I'm going to give you points. Uh, it was not Vertigo, surprisingly. Uh, the correct answer is Rebecca. Rebecca, it was in 1940. Feels like yesterday, I tell you. Rebecca, the correct answer. Uh, deal and I buy you one. Ah, sounds good to me, my friend. Sounds perfect. Aww, yeah. I just want to hang out with you guys. Yeah, I'm way into that. All right, question 30. It's a fun one. Which state capital city? Christiane, this is for you. What state capital city here in the United States has the smallest population of any state capital and is the only state capital without a McDonald's? I'm looking for the city, not the state. What state capital city has the smallest population of any state capital and Till this day is the only state capital without a McDonald's. T yeah, yeah, that's fair. I figured Tinley Park is closer, but I can like almost walk to to Lockport. So I figured we'll make that trade off. You head up here. I'll buy you a beer. <laughs> I hate going places. I hate driving. 
I don't mind. I know Christy Ann. Oh, I, I can't wait for borders to open. Yeah. Christy Ann, when we can come to Canada, we're coming in to Canada for like a vacation. We're coming to hang out. For like a month. Yeah. All right. Everybody's in. Correct answer here is Montpellier. Montpellier. I even double checked this today. Uh, there is a McDonald's like five minutes outside the city, but they do not have one in the city. It is a tiny city, but the capital, Montpellier, the smallest. Yeah. Yeah, you, you knew. All right, one more question, my friends. Question 31. Who was the Florentine sculptor who created the bronze statue of David in 1432, which was eclipsed by Michelangelo's David only a century later? Who carved the statue, or I guess not carved, who created the statue of David out of bronze in 1432, only to be eclipsed by Michelangelo's David only a century later? This question was born out of the fact that I used to be so confused because I was like, wait, wait, wait. There's more than one David? It makes sense that there would be. I'm, I don't want to give anything away, but I am absolutely giving points to the person who put IDK, but Pizza Dude's got 30 seconds. <laughs> I almost used that GIF. Uh, I'm going to throw it up here now uh, because... This is the correct answer here. Uh, this would be your, your two Ninja Turtles. So Michelangelo created David, which we talk about still today. But before that, and I am absolutely giving points to that, uh, about 100 years before, Donatello! Donatello created the bronze statue of Ooh. David in 1432. That was a fun question, too. Uh, we need to plan this to make... Yeah, Christiane, I'm way into that. All right, my friends. That's it. That's all the questions for tonight. So we will look at the standings here in just a second. The top three individuals will win themselves some taco bucks. Uh, whether or not you win tonight, that's okay. We have plenty more trivia coming up. Wednesday at 9 p.m., general knowledge trivia with a great uh, picture round already planned out. So please join us for that. And you get to see Pierre's new haircut. So you don't want to miss that. Friday will be back as well at 9 p.m. I'm planning for that to be general knowledge trivia. But if I can get my shit together, we might try out a brand new game that we've been working on. So one way or another, we're going to have a bunch of fun stuff coming up this week. Make sure to keep an eye on the community group. I'll be posting some stuff in there. Uh, and other than that, I hope to see you guys soon. Um, and you will. And you will. And here are the final standings along with Taco. In first and second and third, Danny in first place. Your mom, <laughs> LOL, in second. And Hasera in third. What were you saying? Taco has light eyes. Oh, I does know. he? Oh, yeah. Eyes are back in the head. Uh, guys, that's all for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I'll get those points added to your loyalty program accounts. Uh, but other than that, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your damn hands and be excellent to each other. Isn't be that what we used to say? To yeah. Other, yeah. All right. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.